Hey everybody and welcome to project 3. In this project we'll be exploring circles and loops and all things squiggly and round. Alright, so by the end of this project we're going to know how to use a loop, a for loop, and we're going to know how to use a for loop to create a spirograph. I hope you're ready to jump in because I sure am. Let's get cracking. All right, first things first, let's set up our project. So what we're just gonna do here is we're going to go over to our file tree. We're going to create a setup.py. And I'm just gonna drag that over there, close that. I'm gonna copy this code snippet, make sure I'm working in my setup.py, paste that over there. Then as per usual in our main PY, we're gonna go, um, going to, and then as per usual in our main py we're going to from setup import and then we're going to make sure our python total graphic module loads and so now we're ready to start exploring our lo loops and curves challenge one let's start off by learning how to draw some curves what do you think the code below will do you can write your guess in your main py and we're going to leave a comment and you can add your guess as a comment when you've written your idea down you can copy and paste so i'm not going to give you any ideas all right and hit the run button to see if your code snippet did as you expected wow that's so cool it's created a half circle. It only loops, or our for loop only loops 180 times, which means it is half a circle, or half of 360 degrees. All right, so what you should have had here in your comment was half, half circle, or something to that end. Next up, we have changed the 180 degrees in the first line to 360 degrees and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this. I'm going to hit run. I'm going to see what happens. And I'm anticipating that it's no longer half circle. I might even change my comment and I might just say it's a circle. Excellent. It has made a circle indeed. Now for the next challenge. Why don't you go ahead and puzzle it out? You're going to change that 360 to 90 degrees. Hit run. And it's going to make a quarter circle. Time for challenge two. We can use loops to draw a circle by turning a total of 360 degrees whilst moving. In the case above, each time we move forward, we turn left one degree per loop and there are 360 loops. This means after we have finished looping, we would have turned a total of 360 degrees. Our next challenge is to create a loop that loops less than 90 times. In challenge two, in this challenge, we'll be creating a for loop. So we have our for loop written here and we have four i in range. So i meaning something we've chosen, chosen, which is forward and left. And we're going to repeat forward and left 360 times and what that's done is it has outputted a circle what we're going to do now is we're going to modify this to 90 and so what we expect is to see sort of a quarter circle excellent so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this again and we're going to hit run and we're going to see and I anticipate to see a half circle. So I've just done that. But our goal is to try and create a squiggly line and change this to right. I think this might have something to do with creating a squiggly line. Let's check it out. So cool, it's curved and now it's created sort of a S-shaped line in the sand. I'm inviting you to pause here and play around with this project. Really let your creativity go and just really experiment and play 
finding different locations on your canvas using your go to command and maybe your pen up and pen down command and create for loops all over the screen to get those squiggly lines moving all over the show. So let me show you my program in action. So I've made four lines. I've used comments to organize my code. I used a pen up and go to um, command to move to different locations. And yeah, I just made four lines squiggling across the page. And yeah, that was pretty fun. Challenge three. So here's a little code snippet that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to try and predict what we think this loop will do. And if you're like me and you're very curious, you can paste it into your main PY and really take a look and puzzle it out. Can you guess what it does? Go ahead and hit run. I think it might make a square. <gasps> it does indeed. One of the most important things to notice is that our commands that are repeated, our selection, our I, are slightly shifted, they're indented. If we were to change this one here to circle, and 50 and change the range to 36 and our angle to 10. I think we're going to make a really interesting sort of spiral or series of circles. Ah, there we go. How cool is that? It's a spirograph. That's what you call this super spirally shape. How cool is that? That is a lot of pink. Time to take our spirograph to the next level. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just delete this little code, bit of code we had previously. We're going to copy this code snippet, which is a really um, exciting for loop. And you may notice that we have um, these square brackets over here which contain our list. And then we're going to hit run and see what happens. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at all the pretty colors. So as you can see, it is cycling through the colors. It's drawing six, it's repeating this loop six times. And every time it is going through this list, red, magenta, blue, cayenne, green, yellow, white. And it is creating a circle that has a radius of 50 degrees and then it's turning um, by left 10 degrees before it starts the loop again. Look how cool that is. We're going to modify the colors in the list to be whatever colors we'd like it to be. So if I wanted my to only be, let's say, warm colors so you can go ahead and modify your pen size um, you can play with your colors you can even change and explore what it looks like when you um, edit your angles and the size of your circle so i'm gonna let my program finish up my pink and red and orange spirograph it's so cool so cool All right, that's our loop exploration, everyone. Time for reflection. As per usual, we're going to just comment out that line of code, copy our quiz, initiate, hit run, and see what questions we have today. And that is project three, all wrapped up. Looking forward to the next one.